Hi, uh, good morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are. I'm sorry we are a wee bit late, but uh, at least we are here. Uh, you know, last night vanity struck and I decided that this morning I was going to put some color in my hair and uh, uh, it mm, didn't quite work out, but it delayed uh, the proceedings a, a, a tad. So vanity is going to have to be put aside in these times. So here we are. Uh, there was one question, uh, something about the dia, which obviously is this, and baya. And th these are just regular Hindi words, dia meaning right, baya meaning left. But for left-handed tabla players, it will be the other way around. So uh, it would be dia would be the baya and, and the baya would be the dia. So uh, keep that in mind when I'm talking about this. So the question was the, sim uh, the basic strokes of the, of the tabla, uh, the chanti part, and uh, how do we do that? As far as I'm concerned, there are not like an immense number of strokes. We just have like na, and then ta, and then tun, then we have te, te, and that's pretty much it. Now, those translate into our or are hybrided, if that's the correct word, uh, uh, into different other things, like te te becomes te re kite. Okay, te te then moves downwards or frontwards of the tabla and becomes te re also. So it's kind of difficult because te re kite or te re kite with fingers or te re, which is also te re. With the bayam. So there. So tun na. Some people say dina again. So, so that this finger, the ring finger, also becomes na. I like to differentiate it by calling this ring finger as ne. So dine gene. So, so I know when I say ne or people that I'm working with who are used to working with me, other young tabla players, and I tell them dine, they know I mean din, ne. So na, ta, tun, te, 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 re, same thing, or, and dhe, re, which is down here, the palm stroke. Ne, uh, kind of comes along for the right. So those are now when you're playing now Obviously your ring finger is Down almost like on the edge of the siahi or the ga And the reason for that is if you move it close it onto the ga then you'll be dampening the resonance as opposed to So that has to be kept in mind what happens with us in order to try and keep the hand loose and fluid on the tabla, we move. This finger doesn't stay anchored like when you're playing the faster luggies and, and, and tinta like. Then it's anchored kind of. But even then, it's loosely anchored. So, if you watch my ring finger, it slides and then it still slides. So, the word anchor is not necessarily, uh, you know, the not necessarily should be taken as how anchors are with the ship, where they, when they drop and they kind of stay. But when I say the kind of stays on the surface, the ship will still move, you know, according to the way the waves are or the tides are. And so apply that theory to it. Yes, anchor, but fluid. So that is very important. When you play terekita as well, like finger terekita, te, re, 
you can slide off. What I do is play, play, I lift it. So then I'm in the position to hit. Now these are exaggerated movements. You should not exaggerate when I'm playing. Not, not that. Now having said that, if you want to create tonal textures and, and therefore like if you're playing surface state, eh? but now you want to dig in, that's when anchoring will help. If you notice, it stays more stationed. Right, so that's basically what it is. And this, Tere Kita, when you're playing Tere Kita, the ring finger, or when you're playing Dene Gene, so then it becomes for me Dene Gene. So that's uh, how uh, it works for me, and I hope it works for you too. Uh, there was another question about when you have a longer kaida, how do you work out uh, the paltas on the uh, longer kaidas? Uh, my experience from hearing the longer kaidas is that the paltas emerge from within the middle or beginning of the of the variation previous. So that's what happens so but if you take a kaida like say dati da dati gena tena gena dati da krida da gena ta dati gena tena gena ti krida ti krida da 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 uh, it, as far as changes are concerned, are right in the middle of it. So, dati da, dati gena, tena gena, dati da, kredit, da gena ka, dati gena, tena gena, ti, kredit, ti, kredit, ta, 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 so that arrangement is uh, interesting for me because then uh, you are maintaining the length of the kaida, you're giving yourself the challenge of creating your uh, uh, rearrangements within the meat of the theme itself. And, 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 and in, in, it's an interesting way of being able to create variations of the kaida. I had previously mentioned in the last something a long Delhi kaida, which was so in the middle. Not da dati da gena dati da gete na gena da dati da gena dati da gete na gena da dati da gena dati da gete na gena dati da gete na gena dati da gete na da dati na dati da gena dati da gete na da dati na dati da gena dati da gete na da dati da da gena da dati na da gena da dati na dati da gena dati da gete na gena da and for me that uh, defeats the purpose of subtle changes that spark and 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 kind of grab the imagination of the connoisseurs sitting in the front. So that is a, an interesting way of being able to take a long kaida and be able to improvise within uh, the meat of the kaida, right? 
So da da di da na da di da ti na da da ti na da da ti na da da di da ti na ti na da di da ti na da di da ti na na da da ti na da di da ti na da di da ti na na da right. So that kind of uh, working of the kaida for me uh, is 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 uh, much more challenging and much more fun. We usually go doubles and then triple one like. Using both sections twice to still come up to four or three and one still coming up to four for four lines. So those are the conventional uh, straightforward way of working it helps when you're playing a different rhythm cycle that you may not be comfortable with so if you're playing say chapta so now you're wondering okay how do i make three one it's a little difficult because the first phrase is much longer the second phrase that is again is shorter how am i going to mathematically make it work uh, so you start with a double if you double them you still get four lines of equal length and therefore you are able to fit it in japta without really having to think about it so you've doubled it. So at least you've established a longer length. Now you can try to do uh, a three with a little bit of an adjustment. So that may be possible. Uh, even when you have an even number of uh, phrases on both sides, uh, in Japtal or in Rupaktal or in Dhamar or anything, you can still do two, two, three, one, one, three, keeping four lines uh, evenly placed. So that's uh, basically, uh, uh, for me, works with the Kaidas. So let's see. Uh, why don't we do uh, one of the kaidas like I just talked about? So, uh, the simplest one to decipher or listen to uh, would not be the dada da 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 Second section and develop it, but for me, in this 
قاعدة that hook of the it's so beautiful uh, that to you know mess with it uh, for me is a little hesitant uh, that kind of doing uh, but you know sometimes I do you know So working in that manner uh, sometimes is fun, uh, but I like to mostly stay in the front of the kaida and the, and, and 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 do some combinations in there. In fact, I remember Ustad Kirakwafan Sahib when he used to play this, and I think nobody played it like he did. Uh, and as great as he did on that. Uh, he usually just interacted in the front part of the kaida and kept the end uh, as solid as, as, as it is in the main theme. And there are different ways of playing it as well now that I'm doing it. I've, for instance, there are people who play... So on the chatty... was that he softened the tone so instead of a harsher uh, it was more like not but he did that and then most of the strokes that were open stroke of the kinar uh, uh, he divided into playing it on the maidan here Some people call it sur, but it, that's also so. So instead of dati da, it became so. softer tone uh, and, and, and make it work. So that's uh, in terms of being able to play longer kaida and what the variations might turn out. And that's why, why I said something about the kaida is that the themes for me should be smaller uh, in length so that then you can expand it and so the paltas and vistaras become longer. And, and you can work with both sides and the middle of the kaida. If you make the kaida long, then that uh, uh, facility is not as easily available. So, um, um, another daily kaida, dhati dhati naso. 13, 14, 15, 16. the 
the strokes softer and even the theracator not okay so keep that in mind this point the reason is to try and highlight the other aspect of the kaida which are now when i have sufficiently explored that area then i will highlight the therakita so to highlight the therakita that's when i will put a little bit of a, a edge to it so so, so. 14, 15, 16. So that way you can preserve uh, one part of the kaida uh, slightly behind and so the people are lulled into this whole thing about that part and then suddenly you unleash the terekita and, 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 and a different element of the kaida arises and also again the focus of the listeners is grand. So before they get lulled into those other variations, something else happens. So, <clears throat> so this is uh, one of the ways uh, that I approach the Kaida and I will do the same for you. And I'll give you another example of theta with dhatete dhatete. So 13, 14, 15.
sides of the thighs are uh, the open bowls and the closed steady bowl and how you combine them together helps to uh, uh, make the kaida interesting for a longer period of time. You also can improvise a kaida without actually even changing the theme. And that is to highlight certain parts of the main theme. So highlighting part of the main theme, I mean like, I'll give you against the same example, 13, 14, 15, 16. But in the meantime, you've uh, given yourself enough time to be able to get used to the way the theme is running in the rhythm cycle so that you get comfortable with it, settled in, and then you can start, uh, you know, dissecting it and, uh, and, and, and creating vistaras and paltas in that manner. So um, that's as far as kaidas are concerned. Uh, so let's see. I'd like to play a kaida uh, of my father's, which was one of the first kaidas uh, that actually I got attached to uh, strongly, even he was attached to it. And that was, uh, uh, again, the teke kaida, but we've been talking so far with tekes being straight, meaning middle finger, first finger. Uh, now we are talking about tekes as uh, rendered in um, certain combinations in Punjab or even in Banaras and that is reverse. So you start Tete with the first finger. So that's also something to be kept in mind that even though you've learned Te, Te, that is entirely possible at the whim of the maestro performing that Te, Te can be reversed to Te, Te. So keeping that in mind. So here it is. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, dha, te te dha dha, te te dha ga, te na ke na dha dha, te 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 dha dha, te te dha ga, te na ke na ta, te te ta ta, te te ta ka, te na ke na dha dha, te 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 dha dha, te te dha ga, te na ke na. So this is the theme. Now, playing it. Dha, te te dha dha. It's easier to then switch the te, te, the te part to what is normally ne for me. So da, te, te. And that you can play much more smoothly 
at a at a reasonable speed or respectable speed. 13, 14, 15, 16. And you notice it's an uneven number. It comes on the off. So how do you do that? The first thing you can do is you can double each line. So you have the first uh, palta already in place and the length, the double length is established. And then after that, you can, you know, mess with it a bit more. Okay, so 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> story so I have the choice of also uh, combining both tetas so sometimes I can go dha tete dha dha tete dha ga tinna gena dha dha tete tete the middle two tetas straight like this tete so dha tete dha dha Last take also straight. So da da te 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 da da te te da da te te. That's also okay. Now, did you notice what I do? I did one of each. The first da te te. Second da da. So I did the reverse first and then the straight second. So I so did that too. So all these combinations, I guess, are, you know, kosher, are legit, as long as, you know, it's at the whim of the tabla player. And if you're playing fast enough, maybe nobody would notice that you've done that. So. Here we go.
uh, and reverse state kaida so they are there there's another reverse state kaida dada ka dete dete dage na dada ka dete na dete dete dage na dati dage na dete dage na dada ka dete dete dage na dada ka dete dage na dete dete dage na dati dage na dete dage na what is different here is basic state kaida dada dete dada dete na dhate te dhate te dada te te dada te na gena they don't start dhate so dhate is an interesting development in this kaida which my father plays so dada de dhate dhate da gena da gete na gena na dada te 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 da gena da gete na gena as conventional so again reverse it <laughs> to those who may not be tabla players but might be percussionists hand percussionists or even drummers if you were to learn these kaida themes and transpose onto different like high tom toms floor tom tom snare bass drum and and then you can actually play them as tabla variations already with assigned places on the kit where you can play the stroke So da 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 with the bass tone being the dha and uh, if you're playing a dhete then the bass bass tone being a combination of dhe te with the kinto or the tunga so these things are possible to do uh, think about it and transpose it and see how it helps you out in being able to you know advance your repertoire in that manner so i'm just going to kind of you know uh as they say in jazz terms blow a little as in just blow you know
All right, guys and ladies, uh, wherever you are, just want to remind you, stay home, wash your hands regularly, drink warm water, wear a mask when you are getting out of the house, try to even find some rubber gloves or something. Uh, take this very seriously and be safe. I want to be able to come to your city and see you personally and I don't want you to be getting sick and, and miss seeing you. Uh, so stay healthy, be careful, be watchful, be safe and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye.